Stevenson falls to number eight, Frostburg State, 34-7. Here tonight at Mustang Stadium, Glenn Clark with head coach Ed Hoddle. Coach, uh, you knew this was a good football team that you're going up against, and obviously they proved to be exactly that. What did they do that, that, that wore you guys down as the game went along? Well, I think that's, that's exactly it. I mean, they were able to control the ball. Um, you know, they won third downs. They were winning the line of scrimmage and able to run the ball, you know, as we got into the second half. And um, you know, we got pushed around a little bit, and that's something we're going to have to look at and make some adjustments. And, um, you know, it's a real good football team. And when, when you can run the ball as effectively as they did, and then, you know, obviously, they, you know, they had you know, some big throws down the field, you know, big momentum plays. You know, the I think the, the biggest play of the game was the third down, the third and nine down here. It goes for 90-plus yards. Um, you know, that, that's a that, that's a backbreaker. So um, some things we've got to look at schematically, some things we've got to look at probably personnel-wise. and um, But I think we're going to be fine. As we try to find silver linings from this, one of the things that jumped out at me, you had to replace a couple of receivers this year. It looked like Sebastian Vanker was really settling in as sort of being maybe the guy for you guys moving forward. Yeah, he's done a nice job. Um, you know, he's he's been a, been a monster in the weight room. Um, you know, just watching him lift and watching him grow and mature as a college football player has been exciting. And, um, you know, the, the next nine weeks for him are going to be huge. And then maybe a pretty good competition moving forward in the backfield. You saw some really good things from Drexel Mosby tonight, I thought. Yeah, we wanted to work some guys through. Um, I, I think we had four different guys, five different guys carry the ball tonight. So we wanted to work some guys through, and, and Drexel popped a couple of nice runs, um, you know, at various points in the game. And, you know, he's got a, got a big upside. So we're, you know, we're excited about where we are at that position. We've got some depth, and um, and it's all young depth. You know, they're, they're going to be here for another couple of years, and, um, you know, it's going to be exciting to watch them grow. One of the things that I think caught the uh, fans off guard and maybe even a broadcaster off guard was uh, the new rule on kickoffs this year. Uh, can you take uh, us through the decision-making that goes into those situations? And we saw a lot of fair catches uh, on the field tonight. So, you know, basically what we, you know, as, as the new rule was, was implemented, um, it's, it's pretty interesting because there is no film to go to. There's nobody you can call and ask, what are you doing yeah. with this? Um, so, you know, we kind of made the decision that we would treat the 10-yard line like the goal line. And anything, you know, from the 10 back, we're going to fair catch it and take the ball on the 25-yard line. So, um, obviously, their philosophy is a little bit different than ours. And, you know, as, as we start to evaluate film and start to evaluate what other people are doing to us and how they're attacking us in that situation, you know, that philosophy may change and grow. Um, but, again, it, you know, it's something new that we're all – trying to feel out and you know getting the ball to 25 is not so bad yeah, it's not a bad place to be all right coach how do you take this one and get better heading towards Bridgewater next Saturday night well you know we're going to start tonight we'll start looking at the film and, and look at what we did well look at what we didn't do well and you know pare some things down look at some some areas where we can improve and you know it's just a constant evaluation uh, you know it's one of those things that you take the biggest steps from week one to two and then to week three to really becoming the football team that you are. And so we're going to, you know, go back and evaluate everything we did leading up to this game and, you know, everything we did in camp and, you know, make sure that we're doing things the right way. And, and, you know, we've got, you know, a longer week to get ready. Um, you know, we've got a couple extra days to work with, so we're excited about that. And, you know, I think you'll see a, a football team that's grown between now and next Saturday night. Coach, best of luck on the road the next couple of weeks. Thank you very much. He is Coach Ed Hoddle. I'm Glenn Clark for GoMustangSports.com.